Welcome to Troy Adventures. On this video, I'm going to be showing you how I painted this tilt butterfly. I started by doing the wings with a pencil, as you know it, and I explained on the other video. Butterflies have four wings. If you are interested on knowing a little bit more of butterflies, you can check out this video. I'm going to leave the description so you can see what I said about the butterflies. This butterfly, I painted the uh, wings tilt. I added some blue and green paint at the center to make it a little bit different, to give it a contrast to the wings, not to make it the same color. And with the fine brush, you start painting the dark areas on the side, which is black, and start doing the design. To do fine lines, you have to have a little bit control of the brush, not to push it too much, because if you push it too much closer to the rock, you will start to get thicker lines. Also, you have to load the uh, brush more often because it has just a little bit of paint and the tip is really thin, so you don't get a much paint. Also, it requires a little bit more of control on the brush, but if you do this rock, you don't have to do the small details. You can just do the edges darker on the side, maybe a couple of lines in the center. Not much detail as this one, but this is just a guide so you can paint your own butterfly. You can paint it your own color. You can give it your own design. But the butterfly that I wanted to make here, I wanted to make a kind of realistic butterfly. I don't know if that is the look that I achieve at the end. You will tell me on the video. Please let me know what do you think about this butterfly. So after I finish painting the um, black lines on the butterfly, I let it dry for about 10-15 minutes. And then I started to put a little bit more of the tilt paint to define more the wings of the butterfly. If you have any questions or suggestions for this channel, let me know in the section below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so you can get announcements of my next video. Once I finished with the black paint, I started to do the shadow or the butterfly. You can actually see it here when I lift the rock. Uh, I have to get better lighting because this light is not letting the bottom of the rock show as I really want it. So I'll try to get a better lighting next time. I decided to put a coat of gray paint. This is a house paint that I have left over from one of the sample paints that my son bought but he didn't use it so I decided to use it on the rocks. And this is the rock. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one.